Hey guys, if you bought a Samsung phone in the last two years, there is a chance you're running spyware, especially if you're using Samsung A series or M series devices. It's not a virus. It's something Samsung intentionally installed. It's called AppCloud. AppCloud is made by an Israeli ad company called Iron Source. Its job is to recommend apps during setup, but it can install apps without asking you. It collects your age, location, IP address, and even biometric data. Security researchers found 100 tracking components inside it. It runs in the background, eats your battery, and can break your home screen. It's been discussed on the internet for the last two years, but now the issue has blown up again. People on Reddit, Twitter, LinkedIn, and even Samsung's own community website are discussing it nonstop. Samsung clearly knows it's a problem. They already pushed a bug fix, but they still haven't officially admitted that it behaves like spyware and they also don't let you uninstall it normally. In March 2025, a human rights group called SMEX exposed this as surveillance software, especially in Middle Eastern phones. But it's not just there. Users in the UK, Austria and the US have found it on their S23 and S25 Ultras, even on unlocked phones. Now let's check if you have it. First, go to Settings and open the Apps section. Here, tap the three-dot menu or sword icon and turn on Show System Apps. Now search for App Cloud or App Box. If you find either of them in the list, that confirms App Cloud is installed. Your screen shows an app like this, then it's definitely on your Samsung phone. Now to remove it, you'll need either a PC or another Android phone because we have to use an ADB command to uninstall it completely. First, open settings on the phone and enable developer options by tapping on build number 7 times. Once that's done, go back and open the developer options menu. Here, scroll down until you find USB debugging and simply turn it on. Once that's done, it's time to connect your phone to your PC using a USB cable. As soon as you connect it, you'll see a message asking for USB debugging permission. Just tap on allow button. Now let's move to the PC screen. Now on your PC, install platform tools from the link in the description. It's a small official tool from Google that lets your PC communicate with your phone. Once it's installed, open the platform tools folder. Click on the address bar at the top, type CMD and press enter. This will open the command prompt directly inside the platform tools folder. First, let's confirm that your phone is connected. Type ADB devices and press enter. You should see a serial number appear. If you see it, you're good to go. Now, here's something important. AppCloud can use different package names depending on your phone model and carrier. You'll see all the options listed on the screen. Start with the first package name. That's usually the one Samsung uses on most phones now. If the command shows success, you're done. You can skip the rest. If you see failure or not installed, don't worry. Just try the second package name. And if needed, try the third one. One of these will work. As soon as you see success, that's it. App Cloud is fully removed. Your Samsung phone is now free from App Cloud and you don't have to worry about hidden installs or background tracking anymore. If this video helped you, make sure to drop a like and subscribe for more easy Android guides. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.